CoolersOnSale.com here for an ice pack temperature test. Does the temperature at which your ice pack freezes impact performance? In other words, does an ice pack that freezes at 5 degrees outperform an ice pack that freezes at 32 degrees? We're going to run this test very similar to the test that we just ran, which was the best ice pack for your cooler. So as you can see in front of me, we have four identical coolers, same color, same size, same manufacturer, and four different ice packs ranging from 5 degrees at which it freezes all the way up to 32 degrees. So does the ice pack that freezes at 5 degrees have an advantage over an ice pack that freezes at, say, 32 or 18 degrees? That's what we're set out to test. As you can see right now, I just went to Circle K and picked up another 14 pounds of ice per cooler. We're going to put the ice packs on the bottom of the cooler, then we'll put in the 14 pounds of ice on top, and the ice pack that prolongs the life of the ice the longest will be our winner. So here on my right, we have two Ingle ice packs, five pounds each, 10 pounds total, uh, and they phase change at five degrees. So then we put in the 14 pounds of ice on top. Next up is the exact same ice pack, same size, five pounds each, 10 pounds total, but this one phase changes at 32 degrees, 14 pounds of ice on top. And next up is the Cooler Shock. This was the ice pack that was at a slight disadvantage in terms of weight in our last test, but this one phase changes at 18 degrees. In total, I have roughly seven pounds. It's all I had uh, for the test. I wanted to throw it in and see somewhere in the middle between a five degree and a 32 degree. How does the Cooler Shock perform? Again, roughly seven pounds total on the Cooler Shock and a phase change of 18 degrees. Last but not least is a little bit of a mystery. Uh, I'm going to leave this one as a hanger. This is a uh, product that we're testing. It's just a phase change material that we're testing. Freezes at 32 degrees, roughly 10 pounds in total. I think one was like four pounds, 15 ounces, and the other was like five pounds, one ounce or something. So 10 pounds total. All the ice packs are roughly the same, the same amount of ice that we added on top. I'm going to fast forward and we'll pick back up at the end of the video to answer your question of does the temperature at which your ice pack freezes have an impact on performance? We reached the end of the test and I got to say I'm pretty surprised on two fronts. Number one, the test did not last nearly as long as I anticipated it to go. I thought we'd go three and a half to four days, but we went only three days, which is the exact same duration as our last test. Yet this test had double the ice packs, right? We went from five pounds up to 10 pounds of ice packs and it lasted the exact same time. Uh, to be fair, it was relatively hot, as I'm sure you're seeing. Uh, I think I recorded temperatures as high as 115, 116 degrees on the surface of the coolers. We also did have uh, a little bit of a, a rainstorm throughout. So uh, nonetheless, it didn't last as long as I anticipated. And number two, the Ingle 5 degree was the first ice pack to run out, yet it was the coldest. Now, before I get chewed up in the comments, I completely understand that there's going to be different use case scenarios where you're trying to keep meat or fish frozen from one side of the country to the other. Yes, maybe the angle five degree ice pack makes sense to keep items frozen. But for those that are just trying to keep things cool, whether it's drinks or meat for a camping trip or whatever, you don't have to keep it frozen. You're just trying to keep it cool. Then by far, the 32 uh, degree ice pack by Ingle is your way to go. It won our last ice challenge and I'm not sure how well it will come out on video. I'll try to splice it in right now and be quiet. As you can hear, as I'm shaking it, uh, the Ingle 32 degree still had ice as of this morning, so three full days, whereas the other ice packs uh, had completely thawed out. So we can confidently say that the Ingle 32 degree outperforms the other ice packs. We saw that in the last test, we saw it again in this test. And number two, the temperature at which your ice pack freezes does not prolong the life of ice. Again, I completely understand the use case scenarios and maybe you need to keep things frozen, but it does not prolong 
the life of ice. Uh, we also get the question quite a bit of, well, what if I freeze salt water versus just regular tap water? We ran that test many, many years ago, and it was the same results, right? Very negligible, maybe four hours, maybe eight hours, but certainly not getting an extra day by going from a five degree to a 32 degree or going from salt water to just regular tap water. It just very negligible, right? If you're trying to prolong the life of ice, the angle 32 degrees hand down wins, but not that far behind are some of the other ice packs. So figure out what you need for your scenario and then uh, go from there. As always, guys, I'm going to have a full write-up of this on uh, coolersonsale.com where I'll go into more detail. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going. We'll be back next time with another video review.